Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a ghost crab. This is going to be pretty simple. First we mark the upper part of the body, like so. Pretty horizontal, slightly curving. Then the bottom part and the sides. It is like a box. It will have some texture and the eyes will go up here. Then the mouth toward the middle, which we can simplify like this. The oval toward the center is the orifice. And then we have the claws. Each can be of different size. They have four legs on each side. Probably this drawing will look cartoonish, but it is actually pretty realistic. They can run very quickly, and they can do so to either side. If they really want to go fast, they lift one pair of legs off the ground and do it with six. The eyes of the crab popping up are pretty amazing. They are so expressive. I love them. I will draw a guideline in the middle for reference. For this drawing, I'm using a carbon pencil for the darks and a white charcoal pencil for the lights. I'm working on a light blue cardboard paper. They have some mouth appendages that cover the opening. The list of materials, by the way, is, as always, in the description below the video. These crabs are able to change color to match their surroundings but do so slowly. They do this by adjusting the concentration of pigments. If they are moved from a very light sand area to a dark sand beach, it may take them up to about a month to fully have their new color. Now with the white charcoal, we begin pulling some lights, some reflections, like so. Just with that, it starts taking another dimension, I think. <laughs> Generally, try to not mix them, to not combine both the black and the white, because they can get muddy. I try to place the blacks on their spot and the whites on their own. And I clean up the line with a kneaded eraser. The ghost crab lives in holes that they dig in the sand by the sea in areas that are called intertidal because they are underwater when the tide of the sea is high but they are above the water level when the tide is low. Let's give some texture to the surface of the claws by making some little dots, white dots, on them. And we also reinforce some of the shadows with the black. At the end of the legs, they have a pretty slender claws that are the ones they used for walking and running. They must have very good traction on the sand, like the spikes under the tennis shoes of football players and stuff like that. To give a better feel to the surroundings and the background, I added a line up there, like a sea line at the shore, and also some reflections under the crab. Let's give some more light to the eyes, such expressive eyes that they have. And also, I would like to draw some texture of the sand that he has stepped on. Let's give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.